we've been looking at the NHS reform and I think there's so much more to be looked at. The whole system is being shaken up. Um, we don't know what's going to happen to managers if we don't know what's going to happen to PP people who are working in PPP, whether they're going to be laid off, whether they're going to be rehired. Um, private companies, what's going to happen? Are we going to have an increase of private companies coming in? Um, and will the NHS survive if that happens? Um, or, I mean, I've looked at independent sector treatment centres in the past, which are um, public-private partnerships, which were brought in to ease waiting times in the NHS. But in fact, while some of them did work, and while some of them were very good and, and sort of knee hip operations, that type of thing, were outsourced to these centres and they worked quite well and, and they're still operating. Some didn't work at all. Um, there was a lot of money ploughed into them and a lot of money was lost um, because the operations just weren't happening. And the, the, the they paid for operations in bulk, the Department of Health, and then even if the operations didn't happen, the private company would still get paid. Um, you know, would anything like that happen in the future with more private companies coming into the NHS? 